little-known history facts about pirates. Part 2. Back in the day, Jamaica used to be the base of operations for Jewish pirates. Today, if you go to Kingston's Hunts Bay Cemetery, you can find tombstones that have the skull and crossbones sign, plus Hebrew texts. Turns out, we probably owe the popularity of guacamole to a pirate. William Dampier, who became a pirate in 1679, wrote down the first ever guacamole recipe, and we also got the words tortilla and soy sauce from him. When pirates caught a merchant vessel, some of its crew joined the pirates. That was relatively common anyway, and the reason was simple. The conditions aboard merchant and military ships were terrible. Pirate booty actually typically wasn't doubloons, gold, artifacts, and so on. They robbed merchant ships, which mostly carried goods like tobacco, cotton, cloth, spices, sugar, wood. So that's what pirates would get. The Mississippi River was surprisingly full of piracy back in the day. But things started to calm down in the 1820s, when steamboats grew more common being faster and more secure, they weren't worth attacking. 